Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and today we're gonna be going over the 2020 Ford F-150 Limited and then the 2020 Ram 1500 Limited with the black appearance package. And before you complain about the cleanliness of the truck, I have to get to work in like 20 minutes. So no, I didn't have time to clean the truck. Yes, it's dirty, but it's also a truck, so get over it. But as always, we're gonna do a quick walk around going from truck to truck, comparing the features against each other. A big shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo, and then also the Larry H. Miller Dodge Ram here in Provo for providing us with obviously the Ford and then the Dodge. I'm gonna include a link to both of their inventories in the description below. Please check them out if you're in the market for a Ford Lincoln, Dodge Ram, Jeep, or Chrysler. Now let's go into the hoods of both of the trucks. Let's start with the F-150 Limited. So under here, we've got a twin turbocharged 3.5 liter V6. It goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 17 around town and then 21 on the highway. Power outputs are 450 horsepower and then 510 pound feet of torque. So same setup as what the Raptor has from an engine perspective. Now over to the Ram. Naturally aspirated 5.7 liter V8 Hemi with the e-torque system. Fuel economy is 17 around town and then 22 on the highway. Power outputs are 395 horsepower and then 410 pound-feet of torque with an additional 130 pound-feet of torque off of the line with the e-torque system. So, I mean, overall, naturally aspirated versus turbocharged. A little bit better fuel economy with the e-torque, but they're pretty much the same. That one has more power. This one has less. Let's finish things up on the front ends of the trucks by going over the F-150 Limited. So you guys can see this is finished in the star white metallic, which is a really nice metallic white. It says Limited on the top, the hood's just identical, all the other F-150s. Full LED lights at the front here with the little LED accent lights. And then you've kind of got like the lower gloss finish on the chrome. I call it kind of like an anodized look. That's the best way for me to describe it. It's not like the bright chrome like on the Ford logo right there. Fog lights are down below, you got your tow hooks right in this whole area. And other than that, pretty simple. Looks pretty similar to any other F-150. Now, limited black appearance package. And again, before you comment on how dirty the truck is, I don't have time to wash it, so yeah. Sport hood at the top right here. You've got the vents right there across the top as well. Fully blacked out LED headlamps with the projector LEDs. Whole grill is blacked out. Got your fog lights down below, parking sensors all across, tow hooks at the front on top of that. And just one more look so you guys can kind of see side by side on the front end side of things. Now let's go over to the tire and rim setup. So 22s, 22s, 275 millimeter, 285 millimeter. Now you can see that these rims are all blacked out on the Ram versus the Fords. You know, they obviously finished them in chrome. So different aesthetics on them, but they both look really good and they're both massive. You guys can kind of see the fender flares on the Ford and then also on the Ram as well. F-150 limited badging here on the side. Ram badging there on the side of that. Doesn't say limited or anything like that. And let's head to the back. So we've got the key fob here for the F-150 limited. It says Ford on the back. You get your lock and unlock function, remote start and then your tailgate release. So if we lock the truck, press the remote start function twice. Twin turbo V6 will start right up out of the dual outlet exhausts. Then if you press it again, it'll shut it right off. And then the other function is that tailgate release. So if we press that button twice, it'll slow lower down the tailgate. And you guys can see here, this one does not have a spray and bed liner. You can get that added in as an option. See, they got the LED bed lights right there. You got your cab light up at the top power rear setting window. And then the only other thing of importance really in the bed is Ford's got the bed step on our upgraded F-150. So you guys can see this one pulls down and you step up to it. You've got a little grab handle right there. Pretty simple setup. And then maybe just throw it back into place. Oop, don't press the button again. But if you throw it back into place, you can do that. And then lifting up the tailgate, pretty easy to get into place on the F-150. But let's head over to the Limited now. Here's the key fob on the Ram 1500 Limited. It says Limited on the back. You got lock and unlock, tailgate release, and then the air suspension and remote start. So we press the remote start button twice. First time we'll lock it, second time we'll start it up. You hear the 5.7 liter Hemi come to life. Press it again, that'll shut it off. And press the tailgate release button. Woo, first try. So you guys can see the tailgate pop down. You've got full spray in bed liner. You've got the LED bed lights in here as well. This one obviously has a tonneau cover, so that's why the bed's covered. But you guys can see the whole setup there. Soft trifold tonneau cover. Cab lights up top with the power setting window and then picking up the bed, 
much lighter than the bed on the Ford, but it doesn't have any extra functionality other than being a regular tailgate. Let's go over style on both of the trucks. So on the F-150, first and foremost, you guys can see that we've got these full LED lights in the back here, so you guys can kind of see the accenting on that. F-150 limited on the back, Ford on the other side, EcoBoost just down below. Parking sensors on the sides of the bumper, dual outlet exhaust as well. All of your plugins for towing right in that area with the receiver hitch. One more look at the F-150. Now, the 1500 Ram Limited. Again, you've got the LED lights. Obviously, this is the full blackout package, so these are all blacked out in the middle here. You've got the full LEDs wrap around right there. It says Limited on the side. You've got the Ram logo in the center, 4x4 on the other side. Parking sensors at the bottom of the bumper. Still get the plugins for towing right next to the license plate. Receiver hitch, dual outlet exhaust again. And yeah, there's kind of one more look. Let's head inside. Now we can see the panel here in the back of the F-150. So you guys can see that we've got this beautiful leather right here with the wood trim. You've got your little door handle right there in that area. Power side steps there on the side and then fully popping in. You guys can see these seats here on the F-150. So it says limited right there on these seats, fully perforated leather. I really like the design on these seats and it's very, very squishy and comfortable. We've got cup holders right here in the center. But you can press that and it'll pop right out with the little cup holders. And then coming over here, we can see you've got some vents, got a couple charging stations as well, heated seats, cup holders at the top area, little pockets on the back. And then yes, you can lift up the seats and that's it. Now here on the Ram, we can see the door panel for the back. So we've got that beautiful leather accenting with the embroidery. We've got the wood trim just up above with the door handle and everything. All of the window controls right there in that area. One of the speakers for the sound system, power running boards. And then we look at the interior. So look at the seats here on the Limited. Um, again, premium leather. Seats on the Ford are definitely softer. I will say that. Now design, that'll be up to you guys and you know which seats you like the most. I do like the functionality of this center part on the Ram more, how this just pulls all the way down. And then, yep, that pops up right there. Got cup holders right there, obviously. Cup holders at the top right here. Wood trim's really nice. You got all the charging stations in there with the little full power outlet and the vents on these sides. Pockets in the back, and then yes, the seat does fold up. Got a little storage space just below it. And then, ice buckets, guys. So we've got Kia Sentry here on the Ford, so one touch to lock it and then to unlock it, you just have to put your hand on the back of the door handle. And we can open this up. You see the running boards will pop out again. And then you see the door panel here in the front. So again, the brown premium leather right there at the top. You've got the wood trim. All of our window controls are in this little area right here. You've got your mirror controls as well. Door lock and unlock and then the memory seats. Then here are the seats at the front of the F-150. So it says limited here at the top. And again, just feeling the seats definitely really really soft we'll compare that to the ram in just a moment full power adjustments on the seats and then you guys can see the pedal layout just down below you've got your parking brake your power adjustable pedals all of your light controls in that area so like fog lights cargo lights all that mirror lights are on the side and then the steering wheel is going to be power adjustable keyless entry on the ram so one touch to lock it and then to unlock it just have to slip down the back of the door handle running boards will pop out again and then here's the door panel for the front Again, you got the really nice premium leather right there with the embroidering, nice wood trim. Notice how much more leather there is on the door panel here compared to the F-150 Limited. All the window controls right here in this area, mirror controls just up above. It does have power folding mirrors, memory seats, a couple speakers for the sound system. And here's the seat in the front. Oop, it's kind of hiding, but you guys can see the seat in the front. Really nice looking seats. Um, yeah, just like the back seats, they're not quite as soft as the leather in the F-150, but it's not like they're hard by any means. And then you guys can see the layout with the controls there for the power adjustable seats. Pedals are just right in this little area and for some reason the camera's being blurry. Hood latch above them though. Parking brake, you've got your power adjustable pedals, light controls here, fog lights, cargo light, and then the steering wheel on the Ram is actually manually adjustable. So up the Ford, just put your foot on the brake, push the push start. Built Ford tough and yeah. Here's the steering wheel in the Ford and let's kind of close in on things. So. You guys can see all the volume controls here, voice commands, all that kind of stuff. Ford logo in the center. Adaptive cruise control, and that is for the center stack. Full leather wrapped steering wheel, very nice. I like the material right here on this. Kind of just feels nice, and it looks nice as well on that on the steering wheel. There's your control for the flash and the brights, and then your windshield wipers as well. Now I can see here on the Ford, you've got the gauge cluster RPMs on the left side. On the right side, you've got your speed, and then you've got the center stack 
which you can scroll through a couple different menus. You guys can kind of see the different stuff you can scroll through. Pretty standard setup on most new vehicles. Good setup in general. I like the um, settings for the safety stuff and also the off-road status and towing status on the Ford. Let's go around the controls that are around the touchscreen. So you've got your stability control, hazard lights, camera system, auto stop start, vents on the sides. Got a little charging station right here in this area that I, for some reason, cannot reach. Volume controls for the radio, analog, basically analog controls for the radio. Dual zone climate, it's got heated and ventilated seats. I'm actually gonna turn that off because it's a little bit too warm for me now. But it's nice that they give you that functionality. Trailer backup system, system. Two wheel high, four wheel auto, four wheel high, four wheel low. You've got your axle lock in the rear. Trailer brake controls are integrated just down below, but touchscreen time. So here's the center display for the F-150. You guys can kind of see when I press the different functions and hopefully it doesn't turn on music and copyright me, but you guys can kind of see the different functions on it with the climate controls, the phone, tab, navigation. Just, you know, how quickly this touchscreen loads up and responds. And then you can see just touch time on that as well. But putting it up, you can see that you've got the 360 camera system pretty much. You can zoom in on the receiver hitch right there. We got the little bird's eye view as well. And if I actually press the camera button just up above it, you can see that you get front view, another front view, more front view. And yeah, that's it. The other cool thing that I showed is the seats. You guys can see all the adjustability on the seats, which is a pretty nice feature. So I got a little storage space under here. So you've got a couple charging stations in that little storage space area. But it's nice that it's got the wood on the top feels and looks really premium. A couple cup holders right here. Here's your shifter for that 10 speed automatic, which you can shift the gears yourself with those little buttons. That's your manual mode right there to do that. And you can see all the gear selections. This is your lane departure assistance, and then that is your parallel and perpendicular parking assistance. Full center console setup, limited right there, F-150, and then you can open it up. You can see the storage space in the center console, and just kind of remember all the materials that I'm touching base with when we kind of go back to the RAM. And then you guys can see the nice leather on the dash of the Ford and the nice stitching that we can zoom in on. Wood trim right here in this area, and then glove box. So you can see the storage, it is two tiers, um, but just like a singular glove box with one, or sorry, yeah, two tiers. Sunglass holder up top. We've got all of our light controls and power sliding window up here on the F-150. Full panoramic sunroof, garage door openers, and then headliner is all suede. Remember that as well. I really like suede headliners, you can kind of see that definitely more truck manufacturers need to add this i'm going to say this in like every video that with a truck with suede headliner hoping that truck manufacturers will start doing this more often because it looks good start up the ram 1500 just put your front of the brake push the push start and it'll say limited right there and everything will come to life here's the steering wheel on the limited and we can kind of zoom in on things so you guys can see cruise control stuff like that this one does not have limited level one equipment group so that's why it doesn't have the adaptive cruise control and all that kind of stuff but you guys can see the gear selector right here, voice commands on the other side and then those controls. Definitely nicer materials on the steering wheel, so a really nice wood trim that goes to the top. Nice leather, the leather's pretty much identical on the steering wheel with both of them, but the wood trim is a nice touch. And then you get a little stock for the windshield wipers and turn signal. Now we've got our gauge cluster set up. On the left side, we've got the RPMs. On the right side, we've got this speed, and then you can kind of see the configurable gauge set up. Um, I definitely like the look on this, on the RAM, just a little bit more. I think the setup on it just looks a little bit more modern, a little bit cleaner in general. So yeah, that's my opinion on that. You guys can kind of let me know what you think, but the functionality on both of them is pretty much identical. 12 volt at the top there. But anyways, you've got the climate controls flanking both sides of the 12 inch display. You guys can see parking sensors. You've got your tow haul mode, stability control. You've got your button for the air suspension. Right now I'm in the off-road two mode. That's why the truck's so high. Trailer brake controls right there and then obviously the buttons for the radio but you guys can see the response time on this 12 inch screen so you guys can kind of compare that to the response time on the ford and then you can see all the functions i mean functionality wise they're pretty much the same they have all the same functions on them you've got the heated ventilated seats heated steering wheel all that kind of stuff your backup camera you can get a 360 camera with the limiteds but this one doesn't have that level one equipment group that comes with that system so it doesn't have it so just a traditional backup camera um other than that it's cool. Here's our shifter for the eight speed automatic transmission. You got your two wheel drive, four wheel auto, true neutral. You've got your four wheel high, four wheel low, and then your auto stop start right in that area. And then you can see here, got some storage space, a couple of USBs, full center console. So this is limited on it. You can open this up, got some felt in here, open it up again. Tons of storage space in this whole console in general. Everything's kind of lined with felt. This moves back and forth. Um, 
So this one, I will give a win to the Ram on the console because functionality on it's nicer. Do get wireless charging too and a power outlet. We have yeah, functionality on it's nicer, but in terms of like the material on the top and everything, that looks pretty much same on par with the Ford. It's just this console functions a little bit better. I forgot to mention the glove box. So you can see that we've got nice leather up above it. You got nice wood trim covering the glove box and then you can go to the bottom one. Nice felt um, on that. But just notice the materials, you know, how much leather and wood trim they use all around. Definitely significantly more um, than what is used in the Ford. The leather feels the same. It's just that there's more of it. Oh, we've got our power rear setting window here that you can open and close. Controls here, drop the bed, universal garage door openers. No panoramic centers, but you can get an option out. This is like the budget level limited. I kind of love it. It's It has all like the important stuff, but it doesn't have the extra frills. So good job. So let's go over pricing on the trucks quickly. This one has a 6.4 bed, which slightly increases the price, but it's $65,000 MSRP there. Whereas the F-150 is a $74,000 MSRP. Now these aren't complete apples to apples. This obviously is like the black apparent sport package and it doesn't have all the safety tech that the F-150 has. If you added all the safety tech, had a short bed, all that kind of stuff, this truck would be close to about $70,000 sticker price. So really we're only talking about a roughly, you know, $4,000 price difference between the two. Oh, now on this one, if they were the same price, I would actually pretty much make it a tie because the F-150 has more power and torque it's kind of more fun to drive than the ram 1500 limited however they're not the same price and you know just from an aesthetic standpoint this one i feel like i like the looks of it better especially with that blackout package interior there's definitely you know material wise they're pretty similar it's just that this one has more of the nice premium materials than the f-150 the f-150 they really just need to use more of the leather more of the wood and that would definitely make the interior feel a whole lot nicer um, but I'm gonna have to give the wind of the Ram just slightly if these were equipped the same if this one had this Ram had a little bit more options You know the level one equipment group for example I would make it so that it's just a slight win for the Ram But Ford has a really good chance if they just increase the interior materials that they're using just the nice leather and all that kind of stuff Just more of it. Okay, but I want you guys to let me know what you think in the comment section below Which one you guys would go for and as always a big shout out and Thank you to the Larry H. Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo and then the Larry H. Miller Dodge Ram here in Provo for providing us with both the trucks. Links to both of the dealerships inventory in the description below. Check them both out if you're in the market for Ford, Lincoln, Dodge Ram, Jeep, or Chrysler. If you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe. I'll see all of you in that next video.